Hey, Boaz here with Next Pittsburgh. We're here at the Prantles Bakery in Greensburg because this is more than just a storefront bakery. They're also doing a lot of their baking in the back here. We're going to learn about some of the seasonal specialties they're working on. And to explain it all, we've got Susan here, who's the marketing and PR consultant at Prantles. Thanks for having us. Oh, thank you for coming here. We appreciate that you made the trek up from Pittsburgh. Yeah. So it looks like a normal bakery up front, but in the back, there's a lot going on, right? There's a lot going on. Uh, you know, we are the home of the original burn almond tort and we'll be able to see them making that and well let's go back let's check it out time. yeah oh my goodness well there they are right in front of us they're being coated gosh they look so naked when they're just the the naked cake yeah and this is how we make them can you can you sort of give me a play-by-play -play of what's happening i'm icing it with buttercream and then i'm putting uh, sugared toasted almonds on top gosh you're so good at that it really looks like beautiful do you make this like mixture also here? Yes, uh, Vicky in the back makes the uh, toasted almonds. How many of these are you making every day or every week? Do you have any idea? On average, I make 120 a day. I'm here five days a week. I'm the only one that makes the eight by eight torts. Oh wow! So if you buy an eight by eight tort anywhere in this area, you made it. Yes. Mmm. This uh, almondy crisp is so good. This is definitely like the freshest burnt almond tort I've ever had. How long have you been baking here? I've been at Parano's for five and a half years now. Oh, wow. And so this is where, like, most of the stuff for most Parano's locations are baked? This is where everything is made in this location. Oh, wow. and so what are we looking at right here? Like, what's, what are these? These don't look familiar to me. This is our raisin bread that we make. And this is also a special time of the year because it's Poonski season. Yes, it is. We make a lot of those. We sell out on them on a daily basis. I'd never heard of Poonskis until recently. So where do they come from? It's a Polish tradition and it's something people use for Lent. And what they do is they eat them the whole way up through Lent. And this way they can get their extra fat, sugary buzz. And then they give them up through the Lent season. That, and they stop on Fat Tuesday. That's why it's called Fat Tuesday. <laughs> and we make it with a lot of extra shortening and sugar in the dough and put a lot of extra filling in it so you can get the extra fatness from it, I guess. But it's the extra sweetness is what they're looking for. It's already late in the morning for you. What yes. time do you get here? I start at 3 a.m. So what have you made already today? Oh, we've been, I've been working on thumbprints, which I'm rolling now. I've done croissants already. I was helping another gentleman learn the raisin bread, and we've made the spinach rolls and pepperoni rolls. And then is this the oven you bake everything in? That is one of the ovens. We have three different ovens. This is a deck oven. It's got five rotating shelves, so we can fit up to 25 pans in it at a time. And then and I can smell these almonds over here. Yes, we make those every day by hand. This is the beginning of the burnt almond tort is you. Oh yeah, every day, all day, all it is is almonds. Do you like almonds still? They're really good. Yeah. <laughs> They're addicting. Yeah. If you taste one, you gotta keep going. <laughs> and how many of these batches do you make every day? Um, three, usually three boxes, which is 50 pound box. And she's making Lady Locks right now. Oh, wow. Yeah, There's like so much happening at the same time. Yes, we make Lady Locks from scratch here. So she's doing that. And yep. this is our other revent oven here. That's like a walk-in oven. Yes, it is. It's a big walk-in oven. This whole rack goes right into the oven. Wow. Yep. Oh my gosh, I feel the warmth right now. Yeah, it's nice on a cold winter day. <laughs> this is all carrot cake here. All carrot cakes. And how many carrot cakes are you going to make today? I already made uh, 48 eight inch carrot cakes and then now I'm at, I don't know, like 15 sheets. And, and then, then cut those out into like mini cakes? Oh, they'll get cut into a million different things. It is just crazy to see everything in such massive quantities. Yes, yes. We make everything in big batches. Yes. If we made everything like in a small batch like you would at home, we'd get nowhere. Yes. Oh my gosh, Annie, turn behind you and look at those huge paddles. That's how you're like, I mean, making the batter? Yes, yes. We use those paddles, all the different size bowls. This is the biggest one we have. It's a 140 quart. And we go all the way down to a 20 quart bowl for the little mixers. So we use all different sizes. Enjoy. What is your favorite thing that they make here at Prantles? 
Oh, that would be hard. The burnt almond tort's very good. Yeah. I like the chocolate burnt almond tort, but I also like the thumbprints because that's good. And, <laughs> and I'm just a bread person, so I like a good Italian bread. So that's yeah. kind of hard to pick. Yeah. So. Well, it sounds like you're working in the right place. Yes, exactly. Well, thanks so much for showing us around. I really appreciate oh, it. Thank you for stopping in today.